Hello friends, this is Praveen. Welcome to online course on Python basics. In my last video, I have discussed about different types of operators in Python. Today, I will discuss about conditional statements in Python. Very often in programming languages, we have to execute different sets of statements based on some condition. We can achieve this using conditional statement that is if elif or else statements. So basic syntax of if else statement is if then the condition if it returns true then uh, some set of statements will be executed within this if block. If it ret returns false then it will come to the else part and some other set of statements will be executed. So get back to our Python IDE. IDE this is a spider IDE rather. So this is uh, spider ID. So I'm just uh, executing if so. so this is a condition and then let me check it if, if true. So this one and I'm just printing a line condition is true. If we execute it, condition is true is getting printed. What if I make it to false? It is this condition is true is not printing. Since this condition, what we are checking here is false, returning false. So in real practice, we don't pass uh, true or false to the if keyword we pass certain expressions which will return either true or false so to make that uh, will you will take an input from the user or uh, num is equal to input and then We'll use please enter a number. So now a number will be in, entered, and based on the input number, if that num is even number, so to be even, it has uh, when we divide by two, the remainder should come to zero. So we'll print. number is even so now let us take it so I am entering 10 so it is giving throwing an error typo not all arguments converted during string formatting so what is happening here when you input take input in Python the default data type is a str. So how we can check it? So we will check it here. Print type of num. Now we'll execute this these two lines only here. So this you can see here the class str only. So when you, you know, you have a data type str you cannot work or you cannot apply your arithmetical operators on str type it needs to be in the number format so i will change it back into int and then we can use this again we will use this two numbers and it will return 12 class int so it is getting converted into the integer type let's comment this one this line we don't require now and now we'll execute this thing so 10 number is 7 what if we want to check this the number is not even 11 it is not printing anything so what if we will do we can check like this if num percentage to 
double equal to one and then print number is hot so what will happen here when I enter a number number is odd we do we haven't entered any number but still it is saying number is odd let me check it once more okay now number 14 it is even now we'll check this again 15 number is odd it is working correctly but what happens when a number is not an even number it has to be an odd number so we don't need to check the check it again for is the remainder we can use else keyword here so what will happen here whenever it checks uh, for the even number if the remainder is zero if we divide the number by two and the remainder is zero it is definitely an even number but what if it is not zero then it will come to the else part immediately and it will print number is odd it will not check again or uh, divide that number and check if the remainder is one or not so let us take it here top 10 number is odd so it is working now get back to our presentation again so alif so this keyword is python's way of saying if the previous conditions were not true then try this condition so what this means let us take it here that means suppose the number is even right and what if we want to check if it is also divisible by three so in that case we can check here if sorry elif elif num percent is 3 will equal to 0 and then after that we have a else statement so we will print here Uh, number is divisible by 3 so what happens here when it will check here um, first it will check whether number is divisible by 2 if it is divisible by 2 the number is even if it is not divisible by 2 then it will check if the number is divisible by 3 or not if it is divisible by 3 it will check it is divis it will print number divisible by 3 if it is not divisible by 3 then then only it will come to this else part and here we will print number is neither divisible by 2 nor by 3 so now let us execute this and I will enter this 10 so number is even fine now we will again execute it number I will enter 15 so number is divisible by 3 now I will enter another number so this number is divisible by 3 it has come to this elif part and now again if I enter suppose 17 so this number is neither divisible by 2 nor divisible by 3 so it will come to this else part number is neither divisible by 2 nor by 3 so that is fine now get back to our presentation again nested if a statement so if many if statements are there inside a single if statement then it is called as nested if statement so here if true some set of statements and based on this true if another condition is also met then it will execute this line of course this set of statements as well if 
based on if after returning this true another set of condition is true then it will execute the set of statements as well so let us take it here now here so to make this we'll take one more input so i will make it here num1 please enter first number and then i will make another number num2 please enter second number and then what we will do num1 if num1 is greater than num2 num2 if it is greater than then number is num1 is greater than then first number is greater than 2 now if we execute this this line of code please enter 10 5 the so first number is greater than 2 now what if we want to execute after this if first number is greater than 2 we want to check if the first number is uh, divisible by 2 or not so then we can check here if again if num1 percent is 2 will equal to 0 so it will return if the number 1 is uh, num1 is divisible by 2 or not so we can check here print first number is an even number if it is divisible by 2 so it it has to be an even number now execute it 20 15 so first number is greater than 2 or second number rather it should be second number so i'm just entering second number fine so first number is greater than 2 and then first number is an even number as well what if you want to check for num2 as well if it is also an if uh, an even number or odd number so after that we can check if num2 percent is 2 will equal to 0 so in this case we will print but first number as well as second number is an even number is even number is even number or even number rather or even number so now we'll check again Only the selected part uh, is getting executed, so we can remove this lines of code and we'll check here. Now, please enter first number. So, what we will do here, we will enter 19 and then 14. So, what is happening? First number is greater than second number, only this one. First number is greater than second number. So, it it is coming to this one num1 is greater than num2 but num1 is not an even number so it is not coming in this if block so this condition is not getting checked though the second number is even number but it is it is not coming into this if block so this line is not getting printed so now we will execute this again and here we will use 13 and then 14 so you can see here first number is greater than second number fine this this print statement got executed then num1 is percent is 2 so 18 percent is 2 
double equal to zero. So it will return true. So first number is an even number, fine. Now it will again check for num2. If it is percentage 2 is equal to 0, so it will return since 14 is also an even number, so it is printing both first number as well as second number is an even number. Now get back to our presentation. So this is all about uh, conditional statement in Python. In my next video, I will be discussing about loop statements in Python. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked the video, then please like, subscribe and share it.